Hey guys, it's the Med Studio and today we'll be looking at nephrotic and nephritic syndrome as well as their differences. Both of these clinical manifestations sound very similar and affect the kidney, so in this video we'll be looking at how to distinguish between the two. Our kidneys help in filtering the blood. It's made up of many tubes known as nephrons. Many of the larger components of the blood is filtered at a specific part of the nephron known as the renal corpuscle. This is made up of the glomerulus, which includes the afferent arterioles, the efferent arterioles, and many glomerular capillaries and the Bowman's capsule. Surrounding the glomerulus, there is a basement membrane and a special structure known as a podocyte. So the blood from the rest of the body enters the kidney via the afferent arterioles. The blood has components that can pass into the Bowman's capsule in order to form urine. In the first part of filtration, the podocytes prevent large, more useful molecules from passing into the urine. This is because between each podocyte, there are small gaps which prevent larger molecules from passing through. This includes red blood cells, glucose and proteins. Before we move on to the next part of the video, I just wanted to share a really useful product which I've been using on placements. So Yard Card is a very affordable, pocket-sized reference card that you can attach onto your lanyard. Currently, it contains the reference ranges for the most commonly requested tests such as U's and E's, ABG's and many more. The product quality is brilliant, there is a nice glossy finish to reduce any wear and tears. So this is the perfect product for any student in a clinical environment. So check out their products at yardcard.co.uk and their Instagram page at yardcard. In certain pathologies, damage to this area can lead to an individual having an abnormal urine sample. So let's start off with nephrotic syndrome. Here there is damage to the podocytes, meaning that the kidney is more permeable and therefore allows proteins to pass into the urine. When we talk about syndromes, we usually mean a set of symptoms rather than a disease that can present in a person. So in nephrotic syndrome, there's a triad of hypoalbuminemia, edema and proteinuria. Hence, the patient can present with frothy urine. But what causes this? So minimal change disease is the most common cause in children. The exact underlying mechanism isn't fully clear. However, there seems to be an involvement of T-cells so the T-cells can damage the podocytes in minimal chain disease. The foot processes of the podocytes are usually negatively charged like the proteins, meaning that there's repulsion and hence preventing the proteins to be part of the urine. But then because the podocytes are damaged, the proteins can then be passed on into the urine. Other common causes of nephrotic syndrome include diabetic kidney disease, amyloidosis and SLE. So how does this differ to nephritic syndrome? Here immune complexes form and lodge itself in the capillary. This causes more white cells to be present and hence inflammation can occur. Due to the large amount of pro-inflammatory cytokines, these areas will break and allow red blood cells and white blood cells to break through. Hence the individual having hematuria, hypertension, as well as edema. The causes of nephritic syndrome include IgA nephropathy, which is when IgA deposits build up. It can often occur after a recurrent upper respiratory tract infection and is more commonly present in younger males. Good pasture syndrome is when there are antibodies that attack the glomerular basement membrane, which then escalates into an inflammatory reaction. Other causes include typhoid, malaria and SLE. 
Therefore, in summary, nephrotic syndrome results in the patient having high urinary proteins, edema and low albumin proteins in the blood. The main causes include minimal change disease. Whereas in nephritic syndrome, it results in hematuria, hypertension and edema. And the main cause includes IgA nephropathy. And that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you guys found it really useful. Please remember to like, subscribe and comment below. And follow me on Instagram at the Medstudier.